walks like an alien, talks like an alien, and it looks like an alien. What is it? Does this looks to you like a comet? With a freaking anti tail bigger to the front of it. What I see is people that are supposed to be paid to work for us doing science. And the only thing they are obsessed with a Velo man. Every single conversation that you see scientists having has to have a Veloe. And guess what? To hit a Veloe. A Veloe and people like a Veloe are doing a not great job, a very needed job for the evolution of humans. The ones that are hurting ourselves are the ones that are inside a bubble that they created manage it by budget only and the managers spit the narrative because they are guided by budget and the only thing that AV Loeb hurts it's not science it's their pockets because AV Loeb jeopardize their position that are not for public it's for their own bubble and they flatter themselves inside that bubble they live in a different reality you are doing exactly exactly with a different style exactly what inquisition did in the past to humans blocking every knowledge to move on are the jets from three atlas pulsed like a heartbeat the problem here that he explains he does the calculations he's a scientist scientists do calculations by the way if you want to be aware of uh, what he is doing it's on this website okay it's on the chat now av minus loeb.medium.com so this is uh, another image as well we are used to this kind of images and here we can see the big jet towards the sun so the anti-jet which is super weird man this is freaking weird man this is super weird and he talks about the um, the problem here is that if it's rotating as they realize that it rotates every 16.6 .6 hours so each 16 hours makes a full rotation so it's something that is rotating along the way if it was a natural comet you have the ball of icy ball right dust stuff rock whatever and ice and each time you are the sun each time it rotates and have ice facing you facing the sun it will melt and it will sublimate and the gas goes and makes those jets but then it rotates so the gas the ice that was in front of you the sun now is in the other side it's cold it gets icy again and then if it there's more ice in the, the new face to the sun, it will do again the same process. That's what happens with comets. When they rotate, those pockets of ice, they melt and pff, the gas and they change direction sometimes a bit because of that gas. What happens is that the comets when do that, the jets are random. And they are not precisely in the same direction every time. It's impossible. They are random jets. So the jets are all over, right? However, a spaceship would have the jets all only and always in the same direction. That's a problem here. The jets of three Atlas are precise and always in the same direction. They are not like randomly spreading. And then this anti-jet. What is it doing? Pointing to the motion we saw that in a high rise picture. Not pointing towards the sun, not pointing away from the sun, but pointing towards the motion, the path, like a car does with lights. It's super, super weird, man. Super weird. It walks like an alien, it talks like an alien, it looks like an alien. So there are anomalies that keep popping in 3i Atlas. One of them is too much methanol. Don't ask me why. 
I'm not a scientist, I'm just delivering you the information. They found out too much methanol. They also find out weird acceleration, non-gravitational. So it was not gravity, it was something else. Suddenly there from the perihelion and distinct outgazing behaviors and height, remarkably height, CH3, OH and HCN production rate ratio. I will not focus in the elements, I'm not a scientist. I will focus though on the abrupt change of characteristics of an object that it looks like an alien, it walks like an alien and it talks like an alien. Once again, talking like an alien. Comets don't do this. Comets don't abruptly change light as it did before perihelion from red to green in one day. Comets don't do that. And comets don't have nickel with almost no iron. The abrupt changes on 3i Atlas. Look at it, the pictures here. Weird nucleus. Pictures. The activity spike could represent a spacecraft activating systems after using the sun for a gravitational assist. Perihelion could act as a trigger for thermal charging, solar powered system reboot, shedding protective ablative shielding, venting coolant or waste gases. The sudden appearance of carbon chain molecules like C2 and C3 could be exhaust products from engine firing, chemical byproducts from heat shielding burnoff, and outgassing of industrial materials rather than primordial ices. It had strong dust emission post perihelion as well. Another abrupt change. AOFP values show unusually high dust production compared to gas. Unusual high dust production after perihelion. It's crazy, man. Of course, it's a duck. A spaceship that traveled interstellar distances might eject debris after repairs or reconfigurations, release micromaterial for shielding, dump accumulated dust from its hull, and intentionally obscure sensors by creating a thick coma. Camouflage, what I've been saying all these freaking months. Camouflage. Pre-perihelion, so before that, spectra looked sea chain depleted. After perihelion, suddenly become normal for comets. This transition could be switching from coast mode, minimal emissions, to operation mode, active systems. Exposure of internal components after an outer shell sublimates or separates the craft deploying or discarding modules. It can perfectly be deploying or discarding modules. We can't see them. We can't see them. Nobody knows if there are probes, models, whatever. We don't know, man. Put that freaking possibility out there. If they are harmless, okay, but if they aren't, what happens? Are we prepared? No, we aren't, man. We can't even take down a drone, man. A layery design, outer shield first, inner structure later, will naturally create in homogeneous outgassing, exactly like the scientists described. They can be fooling us. A spacecraft traveling between stars will likely accumulate interstellar dust and micro debris. Approaching the sun, might heat the hull enough to dislodge nanocomposite shielding, interstellar particles, protective coatings, dust collected for scientific purposes. A controlled release of dust could also be intentional, like camouflaging, creating a reflective cloud for thermal management, and using a dust plume to perform some type of braking maneuver. Maybe braking in Jupiter as well to deploy probes, who knows? Who the heck knows, man? What's out there, man? The feeling is always the same, man. Sometimes we, okay, we go back to sleep, we wake up next day and we think different about something that we thought in the day before. Didn't that happen to you?
you think something okay let's step back let me think ab about this a bit tomorrow we'll see and then tomorrow you watch from a different perspective whatever in life in regular life and you have different solutions it works sometimes we need to sleep and reset but in this man it's crazy man it looks more and more like we are we have loads of stuff out there that we don't know that we don't understand that maybe some of them those shenanigans know and they are hiding because of their behavior we can smell it when their smoke is firemen and maybe they are hiding something of that but it feels like something much more things are out there but we just don't know <laughs>